Hi, welcome, Simon here. This is Ubiquiti Power Beam. As you can see that the satellite dish and that little beam that shoots the internet is right here. Uh, this is the entire box. I know the box is too big. I'm not able to film the entire box, but um, I'm just going to briefly show it to you what is in the box. So if you take it apart, as you can see that the uh, inside the box, you going to find some of the mounting bracket like this uh, this one here is to mount onto the this metal satellite here you can hear that it's solid uh, the do comes with the bracket which is allow you to mount it onto a pillar or a pole um, there are some screws bolts nuts uh, these are the thing that allows you to clamp the entire dish down onto the pole and securely fasten the, uh, the the thing all right so uh, also do not miss out the setup installation guide uh, you can use the QR code uh, one of them is to allow you to download the app you do need to download this app the name of the app is UISP and again I repeat UISP it looks like that can be on the app Mac OS and Google Play for Android installation guide setup is all here so um, in this video i like to go ahead and show you the setup as well uh, just in case for those of you who run into trouble are not able to set it up to configure the device all right i'm going to jump right into here um, the big dish right the the metal dish um, i'm just going to let you look into the manual book they do come with the manual book here the manual book allows you to uh, follow the instruction on how to mount the dish uh, together with the beam so here i'm just strictly show it to you on how to configure using the smartphone uh, there's no showing on how to mount it onto the beam i'll let you do that uh, reading on the manual okay so let's jump right into here uh, first of all you definitely need to have both of this you need to have two power beam ubiquity the same model uh, because the internet let's just say this is the uh, your internet service provider the internet comes in it gives the internet to the access point and the access point shoot it over however the distance is and then the station receive the signal coming from the access point right so the access point shoot the signal into the station the station receive it and then therefore you would have internet on this uh, this building or this setup okay I'm gonna jump right into here uh, you definitely need to have two of this again I just mentioned and if you're not sure where to buy them check the link down description below I'll link it to either Amazon or eBay uh, where you can find this ubiquity power beam all right so let's jump right into here uh, first of all you need to label them and again, sorry I pressed the wrong button to display that uh, here at the bottom that says uh, you know where to buy the item from it's gonna link down description below Amazon and eBay either one of them okay I like to link it uh, uh, sorry I like to label them this is the power over Ethernet injector this is to power up the device uh, you definitely need to an internet cable to power up the device a label as AP stands for access point and you want to label AP stands for access point the receiver part of it is called station the station here uh, to power up the device plug it into the red and the blue cable just to show it to you here any color is fine uh, power up the device and it's called station all right so both of them are power on as you can see the blue light is on uh, the power light is on same for this one only the power light is on uh, nothing else is on at this time all right so here uh, what i want to mention it to you is the um uh the uh, the phone so here the phone i'm be using the uh, iphone here first of all you need to make sure you connect to the same router okay so you if you have a router at home uh, make sure the router uh, is in the same network coming off from the LAN and also your phone connects to the same router okay so already done that part let's go to the app here so as you can see that the uh, here it says UG uh, that's my router 
uh, Wi-Fi and that is what I'm connected to UG is the Wi-Fi okay so this is the cable that comes from the, my router uh, I just label it as my internet provider as a very long cable connected to the router and it's gonna come into the LAN okay so you got to make sure you plug into the LAN okay LAN for access point and when you plug it in it discovered automatically so the app after downloading the app, the app would discover the device automatically. As you can see, it's connected. Once it's connected, the second light, which is the LAN light, starting to flash. So I click Setup. All right, it brings you to this. You can just ignore the one here at the second one because that was my uh, previous setup. So you can ignore that. More, uh, you just want to focus on the power beam here. So quick setup. Let's go ahead and click on quick setup here. It's going to give it a name. So I would like to name this as um, QM. I like to name it as QM for the building name. My building name is called QM, so name it as QM Power Beam. Uh, instead of 5AC, I'm just going to name it as Access Point. So this I know is coming from an Access Point. Uh, network bridge is going to network mode is going to be bridge, and IP address I name it as DHCP. Click done. It would complete the setup, and just wait for the progress on the bar. Okay, at this point here, it's asking for me to aim it. Um, we are not done setting up the station, so do not do this part. I'm going to click done. Yes, I'm done at this point. I'm going to click next. Uh, if you want to log in the uh, password, you can. I'm just going to take a screenshot of this. Um, but click next. Setup is complete. Click done. Now here, I want to go ahead and configure some of the settings. I like to go to the configuration and click on that. Um, the Pioneer Wi-Fi and is what I like to change it to. So I'm going to change the uh, Pioneer Wi-Fi here. Okay, so I like to point out the SSID. Um, by default, it give it a Pioneer Wi-Fi, but I like to change it to uh, quarter QM okay pioneer QM pioneer and the password uh, give it a password here so this is the access point change it to access point and then password in, I'm going to name it as that uh, you can change the password any way you want it. Uh, let's see. Channel is 40 megahertz. Uh, frequency max, power output max. Everything is good. Click save. Save without testing. Click that. Um, the Wi-Fi password, I name it as QM Pioneer. And then I give it a Wi-Fi password. I uh, can change it if you want. Uh, that is to make sure the station understand the same Wi-Fi and then the same password. Okay. So right now it's doing the configuration. We just have to wait until this thing is set up. The configuration is set. Click on the network. Uh, not now. It's going to be a bridge mode. And that is the system. Okay. I recommend to change the UBNT password. Uh, but for now, just leave it as this. Now we do have the um, access point setup 
right and it says remote disconnected meaning that the station is not configured yet so what i'm going to do i'm going to click log out here i'm already logged out it shows the access point is available i'm going to unplug this and that thing is going to go away in just a second okay once the thing is go away plug the same cable that came from the uh, the router into your station now this thing shows up let's go ahead and click setup we need to set this one up as a station uh, let's go ahead and do so all right so that is the uh, mac address and do a manual setup on this one click on united states uh you know what log out i'm going to do the uh the quick setup okay do a quick setup here let me name it as station and then here in the front i name it as qm click done so it's going to finish the setup here Okay, so right now it's aiming for the access point. I'm gonna click done for now. Yes, I'm done. Uh, you wanna take a screenshot if you want. That is the uh, password for the UBNT. Click next, setup is done. So at this part here on the station is completed. You see that the access point is off. Uh, off meaning that it's not an access point. This has to become a station now okay and then this is the ssid instead of the pioneer wi-fi remember the one that we um, set it up earlier is the qm pioneer that is the name of the wi-fi that i set up on the access point so you want to select the one that you set it up earlier so when you click on that and of course it's going to ask for the password i'm not sure if it's the same one yep it's the same password uh, which is good and i'm going to say save so what happened right now is that the uh, SSID is pointing to the QM Pioneer, which is this one here, right? And now you should be able to see that the A and B starting to talk to each other. And when it started to talk, uh, you should see a lot more uh, lights coming through. So now uh, the thing is already configured. Okay. So what I done with doing this is I need to unplug this cable and plug it back to the LAN uh, because the router my router from the internet provider is providing the internet to the access point and then power up the device the access point will start shooting to the station now you can see that uh, the internet is plugging and automatically the light starting to show you can see all the lights came on all right that means we have a strong signal and if you're not sure, you can click on the tools, not now, and antenna alignment. So you can see it's connected. Okay. And here it says great. So you can see that um, it is talking at the right. Great. Okay. Now you can see that it is not talking that great. So you can play around with it. I know that um, you might be shooting a distance of like maybe half a mile, maybe like 600 feet away. So uh, you want to play around with this and that is the what it shows you the, uh, uh, the signal and the strength, okay? All right, there you go. You can see that it's talking to each other. Now, um, done doing that part. Okay, system, it says a great signal. It is connected. Everything is good. You can see that the access point has a great signal. Uh, we can log out. And here you can see that, hey, it's showing both 
device because I have the access point here and I also have the quarter mask, uh, sorry, the station uh, under this one. So you click on access point, uh, vice versa, you should be able to connect to the device and here it shows you the uh, output. All right, so now let's talk about, uh, let's talk about, uh, I mean, the settings is done already, right? So the internet is coming from the access point, uh, providing to the power beam. The power beam is shooting into the station. Now let's talk about the station. How do I get internet on station uh, on a B building? So what you want to do is, uh, there are many ways you can do, you can plug it, you can plug, uh, um, uh, what do you call that? A network switch. Okay, a network switch, which is like a, a, a network hub where you can have more outputs or you can plug into a router. So I'm plugging into a router. So I plug this one here and I'm going to turn on the router. I'm going to plug this one into the WAN, the internet part of it, right? So I'm going to plug into the Netgear router. So what happened so far, uh, if you follow along the, the process, is that the access point, right, is shooting the internet to the station. And then I'm in a different building, right? So I'm in a B building. Let's just say I walk to the B building, and this entire network is in the B building. So what do I do? You can either connect to the Netgear router, or you can connect to anything, or even the camera, you can do that as well. So what I'm going to do is I have this laptop here. Uh, this laptop here, the Wi-Fi is not connected. Uh, and I'm going to plug in the wire. So while waiting for the net get to set up, I'm in a station in a B building. So what do I do? I can plug in the uh, into one of the LAN. Okay, so this is the LAN. I'm going to plug into one of the LAN. Okay, and the LAN is plugged. And I'm going to connect it to the side of the computer. Okay, so the LAN number three here, this cable is connected to uh, the laptop. Okay, while waiting for the Netgear to power up, I know that the Netgear might take some time. It looks like the Netgear is coming back up now. We just have to wait. And we can do a test on the download speed. So here's the laptop. We're just going to wait until the light turns white. So the power light is white. The internet is great. Uh, we have the download coming in on the, on the phone. You can see that the uh, the download is up here. So what about my computer? Do I get internet on the computer? I should be if this thing is connected properly. And then let's just see at the bottom right corner. You can see that the globe has turned into a network. That means my uh, Netgear is providing the network. So what I'm can do is uh, we can do a speed test or anything like that you can see that the uh, um, the internet is going to shoot up to the okay so we can double click uh, do a speed test and let's click on run speed test as right, so you can see the the test is running and that also gives you a lifetime of the download speed and the upload speed. So it looks like I have right about 92, 92 megabytes of upload. And then now the download comes in right about 97, 98. So it kind of matches pretty close to the uh, speed test. So I have about 80 megabytes download and 91 upload. Okay, and now you kind of drop down. So every time when I run a test again, you can see there's a spike comes up uh, because the ubiquity is talking you know, next to each other. So that is the entire process. Uh, that's how you set it up. So hopefully this video helps. If you have any question, uh, comment down below. Thanks for watching. Until next time, bye now.